Hey there friends, how's it going? I've got an interesting one for you today. It's called Enshrouded. This is our character, Old Man Pickens. And he's about to get up to a lot because let me tell you, this game has so much to it. Uh-oh, I don't know if there's fall damage. There's fall damage, I have died. Oh, good thing I can just respawn at the temple. They probably just have hundreds of clones of me. What's this? Explosive powder balls. Yeah, I'm about to start throwing them. <laughs> what do I need to craft? Because all I have right now is bombs. <laughs> I assume you don't make a workbench out of bombs. All right, he made a flame all out of five stones. He's a pretty crafty builder. And he can commune with the flame. <laughs> At least he pretends to. He's got no one else to talk to. I guess it's fine to talk to the flame. It's if the flame starts talking back, you start to get worried. You are not alone. Okay, the flame is talking back. There are other survivors. I thought it said drowning. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if I can make it in time. <laughs> one beckons nearby, just outside of the shroud's grasp. Okay, find the sleeping survivor. What about me sleeping? Can I make a bed or something? No, he doesn't get it. Too complicated. <laughs> Maybe we'll learn it in time. I also found this mystery mushroom. Mmm, it's not poisonous. <laughs> what luck. So I think that's like the fog you're not supposed to go into or you will become entrouded. It's the name of the game. That means I have to go around a little bit, but I think I can do that. Oh, oh God. Okay, maybe I can't do that. <laughs> You'll need a grappling hook to cross and I can't just destroy the structure so that no one else can use it because if I can't use it, I don't really want it around. Well, my other option was spooky dilapidated bridge. So I guess we're going with spooky dilapidated bridge. Hmm, some sort of mutated weird rabbit here. <laughs> Should I attack it? <laughs> Inedible raw meat. I'll show you. Yeah, everything's edible really when you think about it. Plus I got this weird aura now that makes me seem even more mysterious. You can't proceed without a grappling hook. Seek a path through the shroud instead, but I don't want to. I have my own shroud right now. We are hungry. We had to destroy the bridge. You ate it or something? Salvation lies straight ahead. And why are you dead, huh? Hey, dude, sorry, I'm stealing magic blue orbs. All right, leave me alone. Why is the game teaching me that I can hide in bushes? Like, I appreciate it, but- Oh, wait, there's an enemy right there. Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> the bees were not fooled by my hiding spot whatsoever! Maybe they tried to pollinate me. Well, at least that guy in the background is also dying to bees, so it's not that embarrassing, I guess. I'm on par with NPC level of intelligence. That is amazing. That's a new high for me. Go away, man! You're spawn killing me! <laughs> I'm gonna eat your raw meat, show you who's boss. You know, now that I've eaten raw meat again and I stink, maybe it's the stink that attracted the flies and bees to begin with. At least the enemies are slow down here. Even this old man can outrun them. Oh god, not enough stamina. <laughs> this poor dude has been through so much since I took over his life. And I'm still like, more, come on, old man. You got more in that tank and you're gonna give it to me. Okay, no, I'm not going in that bush again, but I do want my stuff back if you wouldn't mind. Where are they? I can hear bees. They're there. Damn bees, run. Dude, run. <laughs> Don't fight me. You just run from the bees. What, are you also an enemy? You got a bag in your face. How did you see me coming? And why? How are you winning? <laughs> Damn it, he beat me. I didn't think he'd be that strong for some reason. I'm shocked. Like, look at me. I'm actually going into shock. I can't stop shaking. To be fair, now that I look at him again, that's Scarecrow, a Batman villain. So, like, uh, you know, I, I shouldn't be that embarrassed that I died to him. Nor the bees. Bees are also a Batman villain. Okay, let's start small. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, all right, now you go. Aha, it was all a trick. Oh, he's stunned at my trick. Excellent. All right, I'm ready for bag face now. Okay, this time I'm gonna block and I bet it'll go way better. <laughs> Okay, when I say way better, I mean like a little bit better, like a little bit. You know, we all start somewhere. <laughs> I'm nearly dead. A few moments later. Okay, great. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe there's a health potion in here. You know, that's what I wanted from the dude. But no, there's only death in here. Can imagine the last guy looking up at me from hell like, that's the guy I died to? Really? <laughs> All right, this time I'm approaching in pitch black in the darkness of night. But this is actually an advantage, you see, because I'm in denial. Okay, here's my stuff. Let's hope this next one goes well, because it usually doesn't go through the normal stages with me. It goes denial, crying, more denial, anger, extreme crying. Look at him, he's looking at all my old stuff. You know what, dude? You've earned this. Oh god, he's not even dead. <laughs> Tried to catch him like a Pokemon. But you know, with a bomb. <laughs> well, you'll never be ready 
ready for my next attack. Two explosive balls. Lucky I didn't die myself there. All right, my arch nemesis has been defeated. All right, metal scraps and a torn cloth. I'm rich. I'm here to wake you. I'm sorry that I'm the first face that you see. Place them in your home with a summoning staff? Oh, it is like a Pokemon. More explosive balls. Great. Just when I thought I was in danger. Oh, no. Oh, no. A bag face with a big crossbow. <laughs> I don't want to face him. He's got good aim for a guy who has a bag on his head. Imagine if he didn't. Interact with campfires to cook food or sit. Who would cook their food? Nobody got time for that. Okay, I don't like the sound of whatever that is. Maybe it's just my stomach. I've been eating a lot of raw meat. It could be my... In fact, it's most likely my stomach. What is this? A mushroom or... Oh, okay. I thought it was like a big egg, <laughs> but I picked it up anyway, <laughs> despite hearing that grumbling. I think I'm dying from the cold. I don't think it's a good idea to be of my age wandering the forest at night. I mean, it's not a good idea for any age, but <laughs> he looks like he's pretty old. Place them into the world with a summoning staff, which you can craft from simple twigs. Whatever you say, fire. <laughs> How about these twigs? These look like magical twigs, right? So I'm gonna take my magical twigs, I'm gonna make this summoning staff, and I'm gonna summon me a friend other than the flames I talk to. There! He's like, did you have to summon me so close to you? Gave the guy a jump scare right at his birth. What needs fixing? Me. <laughs> Ember Vale can still be saved. Where there's ash, there's embers, kid. The shroud suffocates the valleys, so seek the elixir. Well, this guy knows way more than me. And he was just born. <laughs> Now get back out. This guy's ordering me around, and I summoned him. <laughs> You've awakened your kin? Wait, he's my kid? Oh god, I think my kid is a problem. What is it? What do you want? Watch out! Oh, he's just trying to look after me. A fire, roof over your head, and some meat in your belly. Oh, there's enough meat in there right now. I feel horribly sick. Wait, can I make another one? Oh no, I can just move him at will. Interesting. This magic ring will give me extra health. <laughs> I really think this is an old man who's just lost his mind. <laughs> he thinks he's talking to the flame, and he's summoned a friend, and he's a magic ring. But in reality, it's an old man in a field, lost and confused. That person with a bag on their head was probably just like a well-meaning citizen or a nurse trying to help me. Ah, so this is how I build and how I can build a home for me and my new life partner over there. He's like, what was that? Oh, and nothing. I was just plotting. But for that, I need wood logs and string. I don't even know where I got this string earlier. Probably not the best idea. I just entered the shroud from a random point, just going as the crow flies straight to my my objective? I hope I don't get lost. Or die from fall damage. I died from fall damage. Okay, where's... Of course, that's where my stuff is. Okay, that's the roll button. That's good to know. Control is the roll button. Oh, Jesus! Do, do. All right, I'll take it. Yeah, you know what? I'll sacrifice some stuff to save me some time. Uh, this place doesn't look all that welcoming, though. Oh, no, they have greeters. Okay. Well, then it's not so bad. What the? They replenish your maximum time in the shroud. It was like stand close to feel their effect and then they shot me while I was doing it. These greeters aren't very nice. Location above? What do you mean? <laughs> what am I doing here? Exploding old people. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> and dying. I'm also dying. I seem to be dying a lot in this game. Mostly due to my own stupidity, but every now and again, these enemies get the best of me. Ah, oh, great. I respawn here. That's actually good. <laughs> it means I don't have to run, but I am in the middle of everyone. Oh, and I've hurt myself again immediately. Oh god, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> he has no respect. No, go away. Don't make me show you my balls. And I don't mean it the way you heard it. Okay, this time I block, then I attack. Okay, that's it. I'm showing you my balls. Die. Okay or not? Jesus. I was talking to me, actually. I was just thinking out loud more than anything. So, yeah, I did what I said I was going to do. Oh, and then I dropped my other explodey ball. All right, I'm in more trouble than I once thought. Don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing here. Enter to find the root of its evil. I think I found it. It's this dude. He's a dick. <laughs> he doesn't give me a chance. Okay, they're all dead. I am going downward. I don't know if that's a good idea because I am enshrouded and the timer's going down. I assume I die at the end of that. <laughs> all right, now that looks like a root of evil. I'm still like 50-50. It might be the guy above. You know, the guy with the... The sword. I think it could be him also. He's not a nice person. Oh, you don't look like a nice person either. With a name like Fell Thunder Brute, I don't suppose you're nice, are you? <laughs> do I try and destroy the root or do I try and destroy him? I think he's helping me, actually. Maybe we 
we're on the same team. No, never mind. He, he killed me. At long last, I return. I am a humble blacksmith. Oh, yeah. Sorry, buddy. I just need to vent for a minute. You see, I was down in this big hole, and there's this big dude down there protecting the elixir well. And me fighting him with my wood axe didn't go so well. Do you have any advice? At long last, I return. I am a humble blacksmith at your service. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, you know what? I think we need to improve who I am as a person. Well, not really. I think I just need a bigger stick to fight with. Or a magic stick. How about that? I just need to find some bones. Can I use my own? Do wolves have bones? Oh, they do. I always thought they were just like a sack of jelly. I don't even need a workbench. He's just gonna tape them together. You're a wizard, old man Pickens. Sorry, your letters got lost in the mail about 70 years ago. Let's give this a shot. Whoa, I'm gonna attack my friend with this. Oh, it goes right through him. My magic isn't that effective. What's in here? This is kind of encroaching on my property, you know. I live just on that hill. All right, sorry, dude. You're being evicted. I've clearly been here longer. This is a new build, I can tell. Thanks for your bones. I'll turn them into magic. I always kind of knew I'd end up as a bone mage. Not only did I kill the person that lives here, I'm destroying everything so no one can ever live here again. Why did they even have that cat if their objects could float in the first place? Oh, sorry, I read your diary and I was pissed off. Now I have to kill you rather than admit I was wrong. Oh, I was just about to say, I think this was an actual full-on town, but now I destroyed the evidence. Look, I made a table. Not sure how, just out of some wood and string. My guy is a master crafter. Wait, I get a hundred stone blocks from two stones? Okay, maybe he's just a, a wizard of some sort. It explains him turning two bones into a magic wand. Oh, and this is where I can build like the grappling hook and I can finally find out what's up that cliff. All right, the wood blocks didn't go too far, but I managed to make a little floor. The building's actually pretty cool in this. Whatever this magic flame is it's going inside my house i don't think other people should be allowed to use it oh wait i need windows <laughs> my windows need an update oh jesus now i have to make a roof oh god oh how do i how do i do that you know what that's fine my roof my rules i'm gonna do it my way which is a fancy way of saying the wrong way okay maybe we don't do it my way that <laughs> i kind of broke it we'll just put that in there all right that'll do and you know what that's actually easier than building roofs in some of the sims games <laughs> yeah look at that all right it just works I also love how I have this fire, this magic fire that I speak to, and a thatch roof. <laughs> this will never go wrong. Hey, do you want to come over? You know what? You, you never move. I'll just spawn you in here. There we go. I have tools. As a tool myself, I feel like this completes me. I also have one window to protect me from a draft. On that side only. That's the way the wind comes from in this world. It's a frightening world out there, kid. Dude, I'm older than you. Like, for sure. <laughs> Stop. Or I will ask to speak to your manager. <laughs> He's like, didn't you just build this house? Like, yeah, I want a basement. <laughs> This is actually pretty cool. <laughs> I can't see. Is this going down? Oh my god, that is going down pretty fast. All right, my basement has begun. <laughs> Just gotta dig away more of this pesky foundation. Help, I can't get out. <laughs> How do I dig off? Dude, come on, help me. All right, you know what? Whatever. There we go. Now you're down here with me. <laughs> I stand on his head. <laughs> okay, I managed to build some like little stairs. Don't make me tell you again. Clear that elixir well. Don't make me tell you again. You're never coming out of that hole. I want to make both the grappling hook and the glider to make getting around a little bit easier. I guess grappling hook is the most urgent. Metal scrap, string, and shroud spores. What skills will I take for this adventure? You only need three instead of six seconds to revive an ally. Well, that would be great if I had one. Increases your intelligence at trouble boot by one. No, I don't need that. Stamina. That's what I need. And some range damage because I main the wand now. <laughs> Even though I've not really used it, I'm like, yep, this is what I'm sticking with. Mostly because it gives me this ominous upglow. Oh, you can put these tiny blocks on as well. That's pretty neat. The building's pretty good in this game. <laughs> No, oh, that's the rooster signifying it's time to head out. Even though I think the rooster might be as stupid as me. It's nighttime. Or maybe he just has insomnia also like me. We're not so different, me and the rooster. Although I bet our rooster can't cut down a tree in the dark. That's about all I have on roosters. I think they could beat me at much everything else. Animal fur, nice. Just died of old age, but we'll say I caught it in the wild when we go home to the blacksmith. Oh, oh Jesus, could you die of spontaneous old age, please? Oh, never mind. My wand is very strong. I'm going into the shroud to look for, well, shroud spores. This is probably the place to get them, right? Okay, all right. I don't have any defensive magic. That is one problem. Yay, shroud spores and magic ring. Nice, another ring. Still got eight more fingers to go. Before you say anything, yes, I can put rings on my thumbs. 
Oh, Jesus! Explody mushroom! Good thing I didn't need it. <laughs> I would have if given the choice. There's something here as well. Forge weaponry or armor. Oh, God. There's a whole family of them. Not that I feel bad about ending them or anything. I just don't want to deal with a family all at once. One at a time is fine. I think I have enough plant fiber for the string. I nearly have enough s'mores. Oh, what I don't have is metal scraps. I hope this wolf has some. They have bones. They don't eat metal. What else am I going to learn about wolves today? Rookmore? Uh, what is this place? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's bag face, people. No, don't look for loot now. Yeah, I'm kind of a multi-class of warrior. I'm a wizard slash coward, so good luck catching me. I think I disintegrated one of their bodies with my magic. Oh, wait, no. Is this him? I mean, yeah, same thing. <laughs> it was actually a really respectful kill. Nice. We got some metal scraps here. Perfect. Now all I need is two more spores. There are more people here, so I'll come back and kill this entire village later. Right now, I got to get this stuff home. What the hell are you? Oof. That's probably what they say to me as well. This thing doesn't even have ammo. It's just powered off my pure imagination and dreams. And my dreams are horribly demented. Phew, I made it back. Imagine if I didn't. No one would realize there's a prisoner in my basement. I mean, a friend in my basement who can't get out. He'd be starved for attention. And just starved in general. Heal me, magic fire. You're my one true friend. Unlike that traitor in the basement. Sure, I got stabbed. But hey, I got some blackberries. <laughs> I think I threw up in my mouth a little bit there. My digestion hasn't been the same since I ate all that raw meat. Hey, buddy. Look, I'm feeling kind of bad. I know you're bored down here. So I'd like you to make some string for me, if that's cool. Don't waste your breath. I won't. Make sure you don't either. You'll run out of oxygen down here once they start sealing the gaps. Nice. I got a grappling hook. All the stuff I can craft. And all the stuff he can craft. And yet I can't figure out how to make a box. My back is aching. I'm carrying like 24 rocks, 40 logs. A human dude. <laughs> I assume that his entire weight is a burden on me. Throwing a few things away, but what else can I throw away? Like, I need my 22 piles of dirt. Who knows when it could come in handy? I've got four torches. I guess I don't need all of them. Looking good. Thank you. My compliments won't get you out of there. Casting spells at beehives. <laughs> my one true enemy. And we are here. Let's go. Okay, neat. <laughs> but this time, let's go somewhere, shall we? Yes, that's what we're talking about. Oh, a nice house. I could have just lived up here, for God's sake. I mean, my house is objectively better. No, it's so small you can't see it, even though it's right over there. Oh, Jesus. A wolf lives here. <laughs> Ow, stop it, man. I'm old. You gotta have sympathy for me. All right, I got green stink lines again, but they're good stink. I'm healing. Wow, it's sturdy. I'm impressed, especially given that wolves have no thumbs. How did he build it so well? Oh, look what I found. Executioner's axe. Yeah, I'm an executioner. Finally, I feel like my curiosity rewarded me instead of killing me. <laughs> All right, I think I have enough for string, but I need some of this shroud wood and I don't even know what it is. I guess if I go down there and start cutting up trees, maybe? Bees! I'm going home. I'm going home. I'd rather be in the shroud than with bees. Don't worry, guys. Just doing a bit of deforestation this time. We don't have to fight. For real, dude? Come on. I just want your stump. In fact, I'm stumped why we can't be friends. Other than the fact they probably killed all your family a while ago earlier. But I needed their shroud spores. Nice. I just go down there, get string off him, and then leave without saying a word. He must be wondering what's going through my head. Unfortunately for him, the answer is not much. Oh, I could make a tiny chest. Don't know why I couldn't make this, but just bigger. But right now I need a glider. Oh, okay. How do I use the glider? Ah, very good. <laughs> oh, I could get some fur on my chest with just a little bit of string. It all comes down to string, isn't it? String is holding the world together. Okay, make me that. Can you make me anything else? No. All right, you know what? It's better than nothing. And better than nothing is just another way of saying I'm ready for that boss fight. Like, look at that. Are those patches of metal there? Now that's high tech. Right, so I tried the glider from my roof. I think the next logical step is to jump off a cliff with it and hope for the best. Yeah. Yeah, this is going well. Do I have to land? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Just kind of rolled in. What is that? There's something in that wagon. Oh, God. There's something also behind me. Magicify. Magic. I, I don't know. Sorry. I haven't made up spells yet. I just discovered magic. And you? Yeah, there we go. That's a warrior. Him, I mean, not me. That felt very lucky. Okay. I restored my time in here. Great. I get to spend more time with my friends down here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is this the guy who was killing me a lot? It's a bag face. Oh, no, wait. It's just a hood. Oh, you want to do range. Then I don't want to. I'm a contrarian, you hear? <laughs> there it is. Oh, 
I'm like a flying squirrel. All right, my first thought when I fight any difficult fight is how can I cheese this? I don't really want to win through strength or skill. I just want to win. Do you have any ranged attacks? <laughs> He's come over to see me. Oh God, that looks like he wants to do a ranged attack. It is just slamming the door though. And this is pretty effective against him for some reason. And his strategy is pretty effective against me. He's gone hiding. Fell Thunder Brute is about to fall. I can't wait to make a witty pun with his name as soon as he falls. Aha, he... He fell. Nice, they got his head. That's cool. Backpack full. Oh god. I'm on the clock here. I gotta get rid of stuff. Wax? I can delete this pile of wax and this single berry. I don't know if it's worth, but I'm under time pressure, you know? I just gotta act. All right, weird elixir root thing. Prepare for my magic bolt. <laughs> That's right, I am a fierce wizard. Is this doing anything to him? <laughs> All right, let's try this new axe I got instead. Oh, and there's my body from earlier. <laughs> okay, there we go. I did it. I I'm running out of time. Oh no, it's, it's resetting. Good, good, good. Uh, how do I get back? <laughs> oh, I need to get rid of something. Um, old books, a stack of old parchments worn and torn by the ravages of time. A wise man could salvage something from the remnants. Okay, well then it's useless to me. Delete. I want these magic mushrooms. <laughs> like, they're just mushrooms, but I'm magic, so now they're magic mushrooms. Can I just fast travel out of here? Nice! I'm loving all my characters' OP magic abilities. Nice, I've done all of my quests. And I- oh, I think he has another one for me. But really, there's only one thing left for me to do. And... There we go. Now I'll never be bothered ever again. Now that's what I call a happy ending. So we will end it there, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.